this morning we're here to talk about walking by faith, not by sight. Now we hear many wonderful testimonies about how we've got to walk by faith, not by sight. But how do we actually do it? And why, when we, when we say it sometimes the first time, so we make a statement like, uh, God has not given me a spirit of, fear, but a spirit of power, love and of a sound mind, yet still, fear still attacks us. How does it work out? Well, um, and, and sometimes, why? If, if after we've said something 50 times or 100 times, we still seem to be under attack of the enemy. We, start, we don't seem to be as triumphant as we, we think we should be. Now, the Word of God says that we shall live by, that uh, man does not live on bread alone, Matthew 4, 4, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Well, what it, to my understanding is, what happens is, since we're a child, particularly if we haven't been raised in the ways of the Lord, we might be 40, 50, 60 years old sometimes before we actually uh, become saved and we start to think what God says about, it, about ourselves in his word. And like, you may think to yourself, oh, every time it gets cold, it's a cold breeze blowing, well, I'm going to catch the flu. And how many times have we said it over the years? And every time we say it, it's like putting down one brick in a stronghold in your mind. And after you've, after you've said that, maybe thousands and thousands of times you actually have a the enemy satan has a stronghold in your mind that and the tongue has a power of life and death and as we say it we believe it after a while now we may not have said the first once we may not have believed the first hundred times maybe not the first thousand times we've said it but after ten thousand times we've said it it actually becomes real to us and then because we've experienced the physical symptoms of sickness when it has been cold it becomes so real it becomes the a fact it's not the truth the truth is by well, jesus stripes we're healed and we're the healthy stay and healed because our, our healing has been paid for by jesus stripes on the cross we've been redeemed from everything from the curse but the facts are that when it does get cold at times we can get sick and we because we've said it so many times we actually do get sick so it's become a mind body connection comes into the mind goes into the our hearts and then comes out of our hearts as jesus said out of the overflow of the heart our mouth speaks and then our body here, here's our mouth speak, and it becomes the reality. So what we need to do is speak God's word over stuff. Now, Job 22, 28 says, I shall declare a thing, and it shall be established for me. What we need to do is realize we need to speak God's word. Now, God's word is like a fire. The Jer book of Jeremiah 23, 28, 29 says, that burns the dross, the lies and deceptions of the enemy out of our lives. And also, it's like a hammer that breaks a stronghold's enemy into pieces, which means every time we speak God's word, we are hitting with the hammer what the enemy has wrongly placed in our mind. Now, it, it may be, so some people it could be with regard to fear. For some people it could be with regard to sickness. And like I said, for some people, some things you may, when you start speaking God's word, you may get instant relief. Other things might take a month. May take three months other things may take a year to two years other things you may struggle with all your life but what we need to do is eventually god will give us the victory and the word of god tells us that if we seek the lord he will deliver us from all our fears and our fears can be anything which has a bondage on our life so we need to walk in victory we need to speak what god's word says no matter what the circumstances are and when when we don't get the immediate victory we need to realize that it will come but we have established strongholds in our soul, which God has to destroy. Now, sometimes you will think about it, you will speak it, and then all of a sudden you'll go to, say, like a, a wonderful anointed service at church and something will break over your life. Now, you've been, God's been preparing you for weeks, for months and years, be laying the word of God down in your heart, and the anointing of God will break that yoke and that last bit of bondage in your heart and your, that mindset. So my encouragement to you is to speak God's word every situation now if you're still struggling with sickness and you're believing for healing or if you're struggling with fear and you're, and, and you're believing for a sound mind don't let yourself get beaten up if you slip once or twice what i do personally every day i break every word curse over my life before i take communion in the name of jesus and i resolve as much as i possibly can under the inspiration and guidance of the holy ghost to submit my mind my mouth my heart and my tongue to, to the holy ghost so he can actually help me. Because the Bible says that no man can tame the tongue or no woman. So I say, Father God, in Jesus' name, the words of mouth, the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. 
can help me to only speak no more, no less than what the Word of God says in every situation. So the Holy Ghost brings it to remembrance. Now, in Jesus' name, that's my prayer. And another, another big hint is don't rush into anything you say. Think of it, just say, be quick to listen, so to speak, and slow to anger or slow to respond. And don't give in to fear. Remember that your thoughts are your decision, what you say. Take every thought captive. If it doesn't line up with the word of God, then it's wrong. Simple as that. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 5. And the wrong thought comes in your mind. What did Jesus do? Well, people tell you to take those thoughts captive. I'm not saying don't take those thoughts captive. What I'm saying, when the enemy brought wrong thoughts to Jesus, he just said, he just counted a wrong thought with the right thought. He just said, it is written, man does not live on bread alone, but every word that proceeds from man. It is written, worship the Lord your God, serve him only. It is written, don't test the Lord your God. So my, you know, if you start being, feeling scared in a situation, you're getting all tense in your body, don't beat yourself up, but quote God's word. It is written, God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. If you start feeling a bit crook, the Bible says in Isaiah 33, 24, and the inhabitants will not say they are sick. Don't say I'm getting sick. You may be struggling with symptoms. You may be even experiencing medically the flu, but don't say it because, again, it gives it legal right to be in your life. The tongue has a power of life and death, Proverbs 18, 21, and those that love it will eat its fruit. Now, what you need to do is transform your mind week in, week out, continually by the renewing of your mind through the Word of God. Listen to anointed preachers who are speaking God's Word. Encourage yourself as David encouraged himself in the Lord and keep speaking what God says in, the, in your life all the time. And realize as it took you 30, 40, 50 years and you may have said it in that time, you may have said it 20, 30,000 times wrong words. Some things will break off quickly. Some things take a couple of months. Some things take a couple of years. Don't be discouraged. Don't let discouragement have a hold of you and speak God's word over your life because you will get the victory. You've just got to actually power through. So let's pray. And Father God, we just pray in Jesus' name for the tenacity, Lord God, in the spirit realm that we will speak your word no matter what the situation is. Father, I pray that you would encourage us as we encourage yourself, mighty God, and that you would make us more than overcomers through Christ Jesus who loved us. Father, your word is truth, sanctify us by your truth. The entrance of your word brings light. Father, we pray as we speak the word of God over ourselves, we prophesy over ourselves, for myself and everybody listening to this YouTube, Lord God, that the anointing of the Holy Ghost come upon the prophetic words we speak from the word of God over our lives in Jesus' name. And Father, if we do make mistakes, help us to repent quickly, to rise up again, because we're never beaten until we give in. Father God, we just praise you, and we pray you encourage everybody watching this YouTube. Jesus, awesome now, amen. So th my word to you, never give in. Speak God's word no matter what the situation, because God's word is truth and it, and the enemy brings lies and deceptions. So God bless you. If you don't see before, we'll see you in heaven. And send this YouTube on to somebody else and encourage somebody else. And make and cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, make me an encouraging person. And hopefully, Father God, I just know I pray this YouTube encourages some people out there right now. God bless you.